Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. Edwards, the interception. And a foul. And Edwards take an exception to Draymond Green. Draymond's talking to the wrong. It became personal with me. Ten point ball game. Edwards got the lay in. Edwards once again takes a Gobert screen. Driving, spinning, and puts it in. And tells Draymond Green, take that with you. Damn. Minnesota's come here and punched Golden State in the face. Edwards again. 33 and has something to say. In the last year's NBA playoffs, there's a lot of uh, NBA stars that really panned out in the last year's uh, playoffs. And there's one particular star that's just becoming a star that's going to be a future superstar. He also played in the USA Team Olympics. And he really, he, he really panned out in the Olympics. That person is Anthony Edwards. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Ant-Man has a massive plan to become one of the greats. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, and we're back again with another video. So, for Anthony Edwards, in my opinion, he's going to be a future superstar. He's on his way already there. But right now, before I get into Anthony Edwards, we're going to be talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves. Because what I've seen and... Yes, I've, I've definitely watched and watched film on the Minnesota Timberwolves this year. I'm impressed. I'm going to break down how they play. I'm going to break down why they're on the six-game winning streak. So, the Minnesota Timberwolves as a whole team, they play a style where it's pick and pop. You come up court, you have Rudy Gobert, or you have Carthony Towns. They mainly use Rudy Gobert more for the pick and roll option. But they use Carl Anthony Towns and Nas Reed for pick and pop. And they use it for, obviously, for Anthony Edwards. But they also use it for a, one, their point guard, who I think this is a really solid pickup. Even though he's, he's an older veteran, he just knows how to get it done. And Mike Conley, who brings a lot of chemistry and leadership to this team. He just knows how to cohese with a unit in a perfect way. And this is this is why this is a good fit. Mike Collin uses the pick and roll perfectly. He knows how to shoot the three ball. He knows how to get to the basket. He knows how to get to the free throw line. And he knows how to get create more opportunities for Ant, Anthony Edwards to get open. Same thing for Carl Anthony Towns. So they also got Nico Alexander Walker, who they picked up. And he's really impressed me. Since he's came on this team, he's really just, you know, just a solid player for this team who just can get buckets anytime he wants to and can knock out the three ball. And then they got a perfect 3 and D guy that who's really been just killing it defensively too. Jaden McDaniels. He's a perfect 3 D person for this team. He has long, lengthy arms that's hard for offensive players to really get around him because his length, he just affects the, the offensive players. And really irritates them to an extent where they just really can't do much. They can't really get around him because he knows how to shift his feet to the net, to the other side. He knows how to really stick off as a player. Then they also, like I said, I mentioned Nas Reed. Nas Reed is another pick and pop person, pick and pop center who can also really just good amount of rebounds, and he knows how to bang down low. He knows how to defend too. Now, let's get to the defensive side of this team. They are elite defensively. Like I said, they're, they're elite defensively because they have, they have a lot of size. Obviously, Rudy Gobert is a defensive player of the year, defensive player of the year almost every year. He's always a candidate up there. Then they have Jaden McDaniels, who I mentioned. Then they have Mike Collin, who's an underrated. He's been an underrated defender his whole career. And Nico Alexander plays a little bit deeper. And we know what Anthony Edwards breaks to the table on both sides of the floor. So, and then on top of that, like I said, a lot of size, a lot of long arms. It's hard for offensive players to create that shot against this team. 
That's why they are number five in rebounding, and they're number one in the NBA in opponents in opponent points per game. They only allow 103 points per game. That's pretty impressive. Let's get, but let's get to the negative side of things for this team. Honestly, the ne most negative I've seen for this team watching film, they turn the ball over a lot. They are definitely reckless with the ball at times. They are averaging 15.9 turnovers a game. They got to cut that down. That's not acceptable. So this Minnesota Timberwolves team is very impressive. Carvin Towns is off to a slow start, but he's going to get it going. He's still, it looks like him and Rudy Gobert are finally, finally figured it out. Chemistry wise. They're not getting any each other's way. Now let's get to the Ant Man. Let's get to Anthony Edwards. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break up no kind of stats. I'm gonna specifically talk about his play style and why his play style makes him great and why he's gonna be one of the best players in the game. Maybe win an MVP. What makes Anthony Edwards so great? He knows how to get to his spots. And he he's not going to be stopped. Any spot he gets to, he's going to get it with ease. Where's the left? Where is if it's the left hook or the right hook behind that, that center, that center circle. He knows how to create create his own shot. He knows how to use the pick and pop and pick and roll option to effectively to perfection. Whether it's Rudy Gobert or Carl Anthony Towns or Nas Reed, send the pick. He gets to a spot, usually in mid-range. Usually he's on the right hook. It could be a it, it could be a, a fadeaway. It could be an easy jump shot. It could be a spin move. It don't matter. He's going to get to a spot. Nobody's going to stop him. It don't matter who's guarding him. He can do a step back on you. He could explode to the rim and posterize somebody. Either way, he's going to get to his spot. That's what makes him so great. Is that he knows how to create his own shot. And his the fact that he knows how to get to his spot with ease. Also, his explosiveness. And his willing to win. And also, his ability not to... He don't back down for nobody. Where it was Draymond Green the other night. Where it was Jimmy Butler a couple years ago? Where was the, the teams he faced in the Olympics? He didn't care. He doesn't care. He wants the moment. And the biggest thing by Anthony Edwards is he's clutch. Look at the Boston game. He scored, I believe he scored or assisted the last 14 points in that game. And then versus the Warriors, crunch time. He, he dropped 13 points in the fourth quarter. After Draymond Green was talking that raw raw towards him, he backed it up. He knows how to back it up. When it comes to crunch time, you want the ball in Anthony Edwards' hands. And that's what Minnesota has. And, and for a, a star to be become a superstar, you need to deliver when it counts the most. Anthony Edwards does that. He does that. I, we don't have to look at the stats. Just know he's really that dude. And he's going to be one of the best players in the league. Maybe one day the best player in the NBA. His play style is just very effective and very unguardable. No matter what, he would get to the spot. No matter what, he would get he would get to the hole. No matter what, he's going to post to right somebody. No matter what, he also defends and get a lot of steals when he needs to. Now, the person he kind of reminds me of, him and Donovan Mitchell both remind me of D-Wade a little bit. But Anthony Edwards, honestly, he's his own dude. He just he his play style doesn't really remind me of anybody. I mean, yes, D Wade. I think Donovan Mitchell reminds me a little more D Wade. But Anthony Edwards, his explosiveness, with his ability to shoot the ball, with his ability to get get to the spot and have unstoppable fadeaways, his ability to spin off defenders, his ability to just just dance on people when he wants to, and the ability that comes down to crunch time. He delivers. Minnesota, y'all have a bright future. Anthony Edwards, you also have a, the potential to become one of the greats. And I'm talking about the greats that the NBA has ever seen. Keep it up, bro.
you're on your way. I believe Minnesota probably needs one more player for them to really contend, but who knows? Y'all looking pretty good. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all like this video, give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's been your boy, Will, and I'm out.